One time one of my students left a half empty bottle of chocolate milk on a bookshelf in my classroom. Well, I left it there to see if anybody would claim it throughout the day, but nobody did. And then the next day I was like, you know what? Somebody's got to take accountability for leaving trash in my room. So I'm going to leave it there until somebody cleans it up. Well, about two weeks went by and that bottle of chocolate milk was still sitting there. And so finally I swallowed my pride and I was like, all right, I'll clean it up. So as my students were working, I walked over and I grabbed the bottle of chocolate milk. And as I turned towards the trash can, I noticed I was about the same distance from the trash can as you would be from the free throw line. And so I'm like, all right, this is a good opportunity to work on my jump shot. And so I squared up with the trash can and all of the students in the room stopped what they were doing because they wanted to see me take the shot. So I'm like, all right, well now I got an audience. I gotta make this. So as I'm squared up with the can, I pull back, and I make my shot and I release it and it felt good and now the bottle is oscillating through the air on its way to the trash can and all of my students are holding their breath waiting to see if I could make the shot and as the bottle's flying through the air I'm feeling like yeah this is a swish I'm going to nail this and then I did nail it but I didn't nail the trash can the bottle of chocolate milk slammed into the concrete wall right behind the wastebasket and it exploded against the wall. The cat flew off and chocolate milk went everywhere, including on kids sitting around the wastebasket. And it was in this moment that I discovered that the chocolate milk was no longer liquid. It was a mass, it was like this chunks, it was a solid like brown cottage cheese flying throughout the air, landing on students, and then it landed on the carpet of my classroom. And I'm left thinking, why would anybody put carpet in a classroom? And then the kids start screaming because they're like, oh, chocolate milk is on me and it's solid. And then this, this, this pungent aroma starts filling up the classroom and it's spread all the way to the back. And kids are covering their noses and yelling and screaming and they're like, oh, that smells terrible. And I'm like, oh, I know. And they're like, Mr. Muir, can we leave your room? This is awful. I'm like, yes, go, go, go. And so kids are starting to run into the hallway and I'm like, oh, now what do I do? And so I go down to the, the bathroom and I grab some paper towels and I come back in and I start cleaning it up and I get this cottage cheese on my hand and I'm like, oh, this is disgusting and it smells like rotten eggs or rotten chocolate milk. And as I'm cleaning it up, the bell rings and now all of the students from the other classes fill the hallway and I can hear them yelling like, oh, what's that terrible smell coming out of Mr. Muir's room? And I can hear my students start telling the story about what happened and I'm sitting there embarrassed cleaning up this disgusting mess. And then all of a sudden my principal walks in and he's like, what is that terrible smell coming from your room? And I'm like, oh, a bottle of rotten chocolate milk exploded in here. He's like, how would that happen? Chocolate milk isn't carbonated. I'm like, oh, somebody threw it at the trash can and hit the wall. It was me. And he's, he's like, what? That is disgusting. I'm like, yeah, I know I'm an idiot. And I don't know what to do because my room smells terrible and it's not cleaning up no matter what I do. And he's like, well, why don't you do your class down at the media center the rest of the day and we'll see if the custodians can get the smell out of here. And I'm like, and I'm not in trouble? And he's like, no, just go to the library. You've done enough here. <laughs> okay, thank you. And so I took my students down to the library and I had all of my classes the rest of the day down there. And then the custodians came to my room with these big industrial steam cleaners and they were able to get the smell out of the carpet. Again, why would you put carpet in a classroom? And it was awful and it stunk the rest of the day. But class continued in the library. And that was like my biggest takeaway from this whole experience is that when crazy things happen like this, you still have to be able to make decisions on the fly and make class still happen. Sometimes you just have to be flexible. Sometimes the Wi-Fi doesn't work and you've got to figure out how to do your lesson without the internet. Sometimes kids forget to bring in the books that you reminded them to bring in and you've got to figure out how do I still make my class productive despite the fact that things are not going the way I planned. Yes, this whole experience was within my control and it was probably preventable. It hasn't happened since. But because it did happen, me and my principal had to figure out how do I make my day productive despite all that happened. And you know what? Sometimes that's teaching. We have to be flexible. So that's something I really learned from this ridiculous story. Another thing I learned is don't work on your jump shot in school, at least not with rotten bottles of chocolate milk. And thank God for our custodians.